a falar um pouco, pouco, pouco. <laughs> Hello, dearies. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If today is the first time stopping by, you're most welcome. My name is Alasi. I'm a recent public health nurse here in Ghana. In today's video, we are looking at the cutoff points for health programs offered in the public universities, okay? So we'll look at UDS, UHAS, KNUST, Legon, and maybe later on, I'll look for UCC, the University of Cape Coast, because up till now, eh, I still cannot find their cut of grade anywhere on their website, okay? So I've done this video before, but this is an update because all the universities have changed their cut of point and so the cutoff point that was used two years ago is not the same cutoff point they are using now and i don't want to misinform anybody because of that old videos but before we go in i want to address one thing when it comes to the fee paying programs okay last time i got a comment saying that even if you have the minimum entry requirement which is the a1 to c6 for your three elective subjects and A1 to C6 for your core subjects, English, Maths, and Science, and you have maybe aggregate of 20, the universities will still not admit you for fee paying. And I think that the commenter stated that someone applied to five schools or so, but still did not get admission. The thing is that, yes, the schools have a cutoff point for their regular students, but they have a quota okay they have a quota for the number of students that they can admit for each program okay as regular students so let's say for example KNEST decides okay for this program we are going to have only 30 regular students or only 40 or 50 regular students so let's say 100 people applied and they all meet the cutoff point okay 100 people applied, they all met the cutoff point. So they are eligible to be admitted for the regular program. But the, cut, the, the, the quota we have for regular students is just 50. So they will do their interview and select the 50. Maybe after the one-on-one -on -one interaction during the interview, they'll decide, okay, this person is good. We, we, we want them to be part of the regular program. So even though the fee paying programs allow for applicants to just meet the general entry requirements, the competition is high. That is the point I'm trying to make, okay? The competition is high. You may be having 15, someone is having 12, someone is having 11, the cut of grade is nine, someone is having 10. They will definitely pick the 10 before they look at you, the 15 holder. So the best way is if you are interested in the degree nursing programs, cast your net wide, okay? Apply to as many schools as possible. If it's the state schools you want, we have about six or seven uh, uh, state schools that offer nursing and midwifery. Normally, I focus on the five because they are the well-established ones. I'm now uh, looking for other programs. Last time I talked about um, the University of en en Energy and Natural Resources. They offer nursing, cast your net wide, and also look into the private universities. Though, so long as they are accredited, and the nursing and midwifery will give you license to practice after the training, you are safe, okay? And with postings, I've talked about postings so many times, the government will post you so long as you have license to practice. When you hear that, oh, the portal is open for this batch of students and you start for your licensing exam in that year, you are also eligible to go and apply for posting. Okay, posting, no. Posting, no, yeah, Dubai and Kase is for government students in Kwao. No, it's a posting for this batch of graduates, 2020 and 2021 graduates. So if you start for your licensing exam in 2020, you also go and apply for posting. Okay? Okay, so back to the business of the day, which is looking at the cut of grades for the health programs here in Ghana in the public universities. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I also leave the links to this um, website so that you can also go and see for yourself. So that inquire same because now baby, now me enjoy and I'm the buy and you also see for yourself okay so <laughs> i'm looking on my screen because i want to share my screen with you guys okay so give me two seconds 
All right. So the first school we are going to look at is the University of Health and Allied Sciences. Oh, okay. So here for medicine, for Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery, we have aggregate eight. For dental surgery, eight. Physician assistantship, nine. Doctor of Pharmacy is eight. Bachelor of Nursing is nine for non-general science students and 10 for general science students. So if you are you did general arts, home economics and all, you have to have aggregate nine. If you are a general science student, then 10. Then the same applies to midwifery for public health nursing, 10 for non-general science students and 12 for general science students, okay? Then when we come to the allied health programs, we have 12 for medical laboratory technology, 14 for dietetics, bachelor of uh, diagnostic imaging, 14. That's the radiography option. Physiotherapy is 16. Speech, language, and hearing science is 16. Orthotics and prosthetics, 17. That word, I don't like. I don't like those two words at all. Moving on, bachelor of biochemistry. Bachelor of Medical Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, 18. Then when we come to the public health school, we have disease control, 17, health information, 19, health promotion, 19, nutrition, 17. And finally, Bachelor of Sports and Exercise Medical Sciences is 21. So individual subjects, grades, Individual subject grades must be A1 to C6 for WASI and A to D for SSSC. Social studies is a required core subject, but is not included in the calculation of aggregates. So this means that the core subjects they'll be focusing on will be English, commerce, and science. But you still have to pass your social studies to be considered for admission. I hope that makes sense. So even your social studies should have grade between a1 to c6 if it has d7 you may not be considered okay and pure science student can be admitted into any course any program you want the general science students are at liberty to apply okay all right and then so the next school will be the university of development studies for development studies for medicine, it's aggregate 9, doctor of pharmacy 12, and doctor of pharmacy fee paying option is aggregate 18. So if you don't have aggregate 12, but you want to apply as a fee paying student, you can't have aggregate more than 18. Okay, should be 18 or better. Then when you come to nursing, for science students, male aggregates is 9. I get cut off point nine and female ten for non-science students male seven female eight and the same applies to midwifery nine for male science students and ten for female science students and seven for male non-science students and eight for female non-science students and when we come to the school of allied health sciences doctor of medical laboratory sciences 12 medical imaging technology regular students 11 fee paying students 11 to 15 so if you have beyond 15 aggregate 15 you will not be considered for even the fee paying program you see yeah and then uh, community nutrition aggregate 18 uh, bsc dietetics aggregate 16. so what this is showing is that some schools have aggregate cutoff point for even the fee paying student even the fee paying programs and some of the universities do well to lay it out for you to know what you are getting yourself into but it's not all the universities that will put it out on their website and i think they should do that so that when applicants are applying for any program they know exactly what they are getting that to minimize the frustration i mean just let the person know that okay if you want this program this is what you have to do or this is what we expect of you so that the person will know okay with my 20 or 18 or my 15 i am not eligible to apply for this program 
even as a few paying student. Still be a diploma now I far. No conny baby. Okay. Okay. I'm venting, but I'm back. Let's go to KNEST. So for KNEST, you it's a PDF. So you open it and you come to uh, page 61. Then under College of Health Sciences, uh, Bachelor of Dental Surgery is a fee paying only program. So that and the cut of grade is six. So here it's strictly fee paying, but the cut of grade is six. See, it has been stated for you. Then Doctor of Veterinary Medicine, aggregate 11, Disability and Rehabilitation Studies, 13, Bachelor of Herbal Medicine, 13, Human Biology, which is Medicine, 6, Medical Laboratory Sciences, 7, Medical Imaging, 8, Midwifery, 9, Nursing, 8, Physician Assistantship, 6, six now why don't you just do medical like why don't you just do medicine and be free <laughs> that's just my two cents okay because if medicine is asking for six and pa is also asking for six i'd rather choose medicine okay all right moving on physiotherapy and sports science 12 and doctor of pharmacy six so that's that for KNESD. then we come to university of ghana they gone for the College of Health Science, Bachelor of Medicine, a great Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery, seven, Doctor of Pharmacy, eight, BSc Nursing, eight and twelve. So eight is for the non-science students, and twelve for science students. The same applies to midwifery, eight for non-science students and twelve for science students. Bachelor of Dental Surgery, nine. Medical Laboratory Sciences, 11 for first choice and 10 for second choice. That's what they have at the top here, first choice and second choice, okay? So 11 for first choice and 10 for second choice. Then physiotherapy, 14 for first choice, 13 for second choice. Dietetics, 14 for first choice, 12 for second choice. Um, diagnostic radiography 12 for first choice, 10 for second choice. Occupational therapy 16 for first choice, 14 for second choice. Respiratory therapy 14 for first choice and 12 for second choice. And Bachelor of Health, Bachelor of Public Health is 16 for first choice. So what Legon is saying, you have to pick at least two programs that's what I know. So if you are choosing these programs as your first choice program, then these are the grades you should, uh, your aggregate cutoff points. And if you are choosing it as a second, um, and if you are choosing it as a second choice, then this should be your aggregate cutoff point. And schools, uh, and for programs that they didn't state this, then it means it goes for both, okay? So if you want to do doctor or pharmacy, whether you choose it as your first choice or second choice, is still aggregate eight okay all right so yeah those are the cut of grades that was used for the 2023 2024 academic year admissions if you are in any of these schools and the cut of grades applied during your application was different to what i have just shared leave the a comment in the comment section and let me know more okay i don't know it all so it's okay for you to correct me and prompt me that no, this is not it. Even though that is what is on their website, that is not what they use for their application and all. Okay. Now, when you click on this program, we look at the entry requirements for the University of Health and Allied Sciences whole. So we go in course by course to look at the programs that they offer, the health programs that they offer, and the elective subjects that are accepted for these programs. And that will also give you more clarity and guidance on what to do if you want to um if you want to apply for the university of health and allied sciences so click on it and i'll see you there bye